Perfect. You want to start the recording, John? Sure. I have. Okay. Okay. All right. So, John, um, Kelly, watching this recording, we just acknowledge that uh, we, we're starting the recording now, 12 minutes in, and we were going over with Rob the agenda. He's aligned with that. We're going to speak more, John, to your piece about the leadership initiative. We'll speak to it later in this deck. And I apologize just to include Kelly, Rob, would you mind repeating what you just said about where you're at with the leadership initiative piece? Yeah, I think there's, um, so for myself and for Craig, we, there's a large appetite for the leadership initiative as being what can be <clears throat> truly transformational for the, the organization and for our leaders. Ultimately, like what I would like to see is a, almost like a community or uh, a group of people that could you know, come together and constantly coach or mentor each other with the, with the leaders leadership project. So whether it would be people who have done it in the past, hosting or uh, just leading and coaching for you know four to five people as part of a mentorship piece where they can learn the uh, learn the lim linguistic domain as well as like uh, get more practice being in that uh, element of it. Um, like I said, I don't think I don't know if I'm prepared to do it with this group yet. It just requires a bit more infrastructure, and it's where I really do see us taking off into the future with with this program. Great, Rob. Well said. Again, thank you. All right. Okay, now back to the, uh, what we're going to cover tomorrow, Rob. So after we do the agenda, which was right there, I'll continue into the intended outcomes for today's conversation. We have three intended outcomes. One is connecting you. Uh, one is connecting. One is, second one is preparing you and then engaging you. So we're going to connect you to the leader circle. We're going to connect you to the promise of the being a leader in the effective exercise of leadership program. We're gonna connect you to one another as participants. We appreciate there are people on this call from Edmonton, from Claire's home. We appreciate people on this call from Edmonton. We appreciate that there are people on this call and being in this program from head office. So one of the things that we hear from people out of doing this program is they have a, an expanded connection to one another beyond uh, how you start off. So this call today is the beginning of that as well. And we're gonna prepare you to how to powerfully launch yourself into being a leader going to prepare you to begin speculating on your leadership initiative. We'll say much more about that before the end of this call, and we'll expand on your leadership initiative on the one-on-one -on -one calls that we'll be uh, talking to you about as, uh, as well. And then we're going to be engaging you in what's possible for you out of your participation in being a leader, and we'll engage you in addressing any questions, comments, and any yeah buts. Okay? Yeah buts. Yeah buts. <clears throat> and then the logistics for the call. Uh, today's conversation is scheduled 1.30 to 2.45 Pacific. That's 2.30 to 3.45 for those of us in Alberta. This conversation is being recorded for the benefit of anyone that's unable to participate live. Uh, we request you read these slides silently to yourself as we go through today's conversation. Uh, we found that your comprehension, your retention, excuse me, of the, the uh, information goes up exponentially when you read along with us as we say it out loud. And we ask, uh, to, if you want have something to share, or you have a question, simply come off mute, say your name to get our attention, and then return yourself to mute afterwards. And we ask that you continue to be responsible for any background noise as we participate on this call. So that is stay muted and less sharing. So Rob, uh, the majority, I'm assuming the majority of people inside the Earl's culture are on video calls like this often. Is that accurate? Yeah. So I was going to ask, would you prefer, like, so one thing that I noticed is that unless we stay in the video, like in the email calendar, that this is a video call and we request that they're on the on, on video, they, they might just choose to take this on their phone. So um, in the email, I mean, I, I'm, I'm planning on sending an email today just to, you know, make sure they know there's no homework and here are some some things to know going into the call conversation tomorrow. Would you, um, would it be appropriate for me to request that they, you know, that they're on their video? I mean, for sure they need to be at a computer and they need to be on the video. I prefer that as well. I prefer everyone's And, on and in truth, uh, we have lots of people that come on on their phones using the Zoom app and the phones work really well, honestly. Yeah. You know, people use headsets or whatever. As long as they have video, that's the thing. It can be, it's up to you, computer or phone, as long as it's, they have video. As long as they're broadcasting video is what I would I ask. Yeah. Okay. They can see whatever's going to be on a screen, right? So that they're not right. driving and, and doing it at the same time. Absolutely. Okay. Great. Very, very good. Thanks, Rob. Nice. Okay. 
with us. Okay. Then we're going to go over the program and the webinar schedule. So uh, tomorrow when we're speaking to them, this is the first webinar. There are three webinars throughout the entire engagement. Here are the dates. Session number one starts on a Wednesday, July 24th, 25th. We start at 8.30 sharp. We end no later than 6 o'clock. And on the Friday, on July 26th, we'll end no later than 4.30. Then we'll have a webinar on August 6th. And it'll be on a Zoom line like this as well to deepen, to coach you, to support you in your leadership initiative and the other work we've been doing. Then we come back together physically on session B, which is a Tuesday, August 27th, Wednesday the 28th, and we end on Thursday the 29th. And then we end no later than 4.30 on the Thursday as well. And then we come back together a couple of weeks after um, on September 10th to wrap it all up. The session venues at the loft, Earl's Loft. Here's the address, like that. Okay. Great, clear. Okay, now Rob, just to remind me, please, um, are you providing them? Can we tell them there's going to be breakfast or continental before? What about the? Uh, we know lunch will be served there. Any Let me other? connect with Craig. I don't know what was promised or what was uh, arranged, but um, so we know for sure lunch is going to be there. I. I that was the understanding. Yeah, the breakfast and I'm lunch. I'll confirm, right? I, I just I'm okay. I'm unfamiliar. I know that it's all there's things that we've talked about, but it's also there's things that are sure that know, right. So I'll there. confirm breakfast. I'll confirm lunch. What? Yeah. Okay. It, are you confirming that with Kirsten? Uh, that, that would actually be a really good person to confirm with the uh, event coordinator for the the loft. Yeah, I'll confirm cool. with her. Well, that's because I was, I sent her an email yesterday and I haven't heard back from her. I don't know if she's away. Um, um, she may not work on Sundays uh, and Mondays are the day where they do inventory account. So they know they're super busy in the morning. So, um, okay. So I'll probably hear I from her later. Okay. Um, if you want, I will just talk to her. If you want to, you got enough going on. If you want to just, you know, I'll just ask her and if there's an issue, I can go back to you and say like, she doesn't know what's supposed to be done. So we do have to confirm it. Yeah, ask her first yeah. before I go to Craig with it. Um, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. do that. Because it may already be set up. So as soon as she gets oh, back to me, know. I'll let you know what's going on, okay? Perfect. That sounds great. Well, I recommend you have a by when, John, so he's not left waiting. By when will he hear from you today? Wednesday well, I'll tell you what, I'm gonna get, I'll get back to you by noon tomorrow whether I've heard from Kirsten or if I have not connected with Kirsten, I'll let you know because somebody but, might have to put a bug in her ear. Yeah. Okay. So you'll tell me by, by Tuesday. Yeah. Great. Okay. Thanks. Now our call is at 1.30 Pacific. So is that by noon Calgary time, John? 11 Pacific? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. And then, uh, Rob, we'll put it in here, too. Um, I know that we may have talked about how we were going to distribute the pre-reading and the assignments. Okay. What we're now requesting is that it go, John is our production logistics guy. Okay. Uh, uh, and what we're now requesting is that all the logistics go from John to you so the pre-reading and the assignments and all the things that we're going to reference tomorrow if you and i don't mean you rob it could be the other woman you're talking about john what's her name again well kirsten she's the event coordinator I don't know if she's involved yeah. in this stuff, but an ea of some kind and it's not all the logistics it's just we're going to have documents to send out and if we send them to you guys and you do it internally then it all goes to oh. everybody you're asking me is you're asking me to email it to the group versus yeah. uh, print it out, right? That's, is that what I'm, I'm hearing you Yes. Say? Okay, yeah, I can email them out. That's fine. You're just gonna send me the link and just ask that I push it out. Yeah, okay, that's clear. And that would be from all the way through September 10th, if we have any other handouts or any other things to give out to them. Or Rob, you could tell John, no, don't give it to me, give it to Kirsten. But we just are looking for a person inside of Earl's. Yeah, that's clear. I think, so that'll be from me for now. And as we move forward, we're, I'm hoping to hire a coordinator for these projects. So that's part of, um, it'll be for me, me, me this time in this round, but we'll um, okay. make it so much work. <laughs> just make it super easy for me. That's all I ask. <laughs> Great, yeah, John will do that. 
Thank you. Thanks. All right, I'm, I'll just pick up the pace a little bit just to give you the, the flow. I'm not gonna go through every single slide. Great, yeah. Uh, well, Kelly will then uh, address the listening because we're gonna have people that have done Landmark. How's this different from Landmark? We'll have people that have done your vision and goals. You know, so we'll take a few moments and address that. And then we'll give people an overview, the promise of the program, go through all that. And then there are 11 conditions that, so, that people uh, must fulfill to realize the promise of the course. We'll go through all those conditions. We'll reference the rules of the game with everyone tomorrow. We'll talk about the leadership initiative. We'll give them the criteria for the leadership initiative. There are four criteria. I know I'm going through this very quickly. That's great. I mean, I've seen it. Yeah, you've seen it. Yeah. And then we'll uh, give them a heads up about one-on-one -on -one conversations, the context and the purpose of one-on-ones. You experienced this, Rob, so mm -hmm. we're just putting it in writing. And then we'll welcome through the assignments, and then we'll take their questions. Great. Awesome. Pretty straightforward. Straightforward. Um, all right. So the one thing that was coming up to mind because I'm super excited by that when we hit the leadership initiative uh, page was I would you know I would like a chance to the three of us with Kelly to talk about what that could look like um, down the road or even you know if we could even get something small going on with this this group that would be great. But I'd like to kind of um, ideate a bit more on it just because right now it's just in my mind. And I think you guys I think you guys have something similar or know what I'm talking about or or an idea for it. So be kind of cool to chat about it a bit more do you want us you want john to schedule that occasion with the four of us before july 25th or between july 25th? no let's have it after so um just to give you more context on what's happening in my world we're implementing a new uh, like a learning management system where i'm revamping and putting in all our new learning curriculum so um i'm really just trying to get my head down and, and begin like pumping out some new learning content for our leaders so it doesn't need to be right away. It could be spaced out a couple of weeks or kind of go from there. It's one of those things that I think it's a big, big game changer, the, the initiative. And I want, I want to start talking about the, what that infrastructure would require. Like if it requires coaches, how many does it, does it require? And then um, if we could use our LMS to kind of support it as well. Love it. Great. Yeah. Okay. John. It could just be a conversation I have with John and, and talk about it or, 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 or all four of us or yeah, it's not a, yeah. Mm -hmm. One of those things that, Definitely, Kelly, the, that's going to be in Kelly's domain. Uh, okay. She's our chief. Um, she's accountable for the program delivery and design overall. Yeah. So that's definitely a conversation that John okay. would, can schedule with. That will yeah. occur at a minimum. Awesome. In the next couple of weeks would be great. Or, yeah, just, you know, I'm busy. So it's kind of one of those things that doesn't okay. need to be right away. It could be, you know, give me a nice break to talk about the awesome, fun leadership stuff. Awesome. Great. And then, um, John, do you need Rob for a hotel recommendation or is that part of what you have with Kirsten? I just wanted to ask, yeah, the, ask the question whether I should deal with Kirsten on it, whether you already know yeah. what hotel you're going to be. Yeah, ask Kirsten. I I don't spend much time in hotels here in, in Vancouver, so. Well, I, I, it was more that somebody's coordinating for the seven P or the six people that are coming in or five people that are coming oh, in. Oh, yeah, so. if they're going somewhere, if there's a rate or if there's something that we're going on. Um, I wonder, I wonder who's coordinating that. It's not me. Ask Kirsten, okay. and if she doesn't know, then I assume it's me. I'll ask Kirsten. And yeah. We'll find out. Yeah. Maybe yeah. it's not done yet. This will initiate something. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay, John. In our remaining minutes, anything else off your list, John? That we have one-on-one -on -one calls. The, we're going to be doing one-on-one -on -one calls with everybody, Rob. And it, do, do people know that? Can we say that tomorrow? It's okay because we'll be I bringing. I don't know if they know that, but I think it's it's safe to say tomorrow. Okay. Our people love any chance they get to talk and, and talk about development and leadership. So I don't think it will be, it'll be very, very welcome. Okay. All um, right. Well, we'll be doing that before July 25th or 24th. So yeah. it'll be after the call for the 24th, we'll talk about it tomorrow. The only thing, so just keep in mind um, for you, as you think about scheduling them, our people from like our operations teams among the stores, Mondays are kind of like a no go day they're doing inventory they're super busy but that's a good day to try and hit up as many people from head office as you can on mondays for those things so if you're kind of thinking about your schedules because mondays we don't you know anyway a little peek inside the other thing that came up for me there brian as you were talking about and i realized i only have three minutes so i'm, I'm quickly talking about this the the listening that can come up or the things that's for you to be aware of 
there is a, and I think I brought it up with Kelly and with Kelly. Um, there is a current understanding of what on the court means, and it's not it's not what we talk about in being a leader. So that might be something to just. I'll bring it up in terms of the other pieces that we talk about, but um, just so you know that we'll be thinking about on on the court in a different way than what we talk about here. Yeah. Yeah, that's perfect. When we get to the uh, what's in the listing, please pipe in on that, Rob. You bet. Yeah. Okay, and will you know everybody on the call, 50% of the people on the call, how many about? Probably the majority, probably about 50. I've tried tried to connect with them as many of, as many of them as possible. Um, I don't really know the ones from Alberta. I know the ones from BC, but Alberta is a little bit more of a question mark for me. Okay, anything for you, John, before we let Rob go? No, I don't. Uh, I've got everything I need. That's all for our list. Rob, thanks, man. We'll see you tomorrow. Awesome. Thanks. See you tomorrow. Thanks, Bye. Rob. Bye. 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 Okay, John. Uh, anything? Kelly's still watching. Anything for you to include with, for what they call? Um, no, but I wish we'd known about the pricing beforehand because I wasn't sure about the you know requesting him to do that work. There's only five people that aren't getting the grant, so it's not that big a deal, um, you know. So we don't really uh, need their support. And the thing is that they're actually paying for the venue and everything. So this is like manna from heaven for us. So it was all. I, if I had had the conversation before, I would have said, ah, we shouldn't really bug him. But the reality is, it's it's only an email, and he's got a group email for it. So I'm not going to get fussed about it. I feel better about him sending them out than having Robin send them, honestly. So. Yeah, you got it. Yeah, good. And um, I didn't get that five people have not aren't going to get it. I got no, they just haven't got it yet. Yeah, I haven't got it yet, which is this thrilling news. So now we're potentially 125 for this. Yeah. And then, the, well, pl plus um, the those other five people, even at 2,500 bucks a piece, it's 12 five. So it's 137 five or 150 is what we're talking about. So it's turning out to be quite awesome, actually. Uh, I don't think so. 25 times five is 125. Oh, 2,500 times five people. Yeah. It's 12, five. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You should always, no, you're always faster than a calculator. <laughs> so, so anyway, it's 137 five versus uh, versus 150 is probably what we're guaranteed at this point from the sounds of it. So I just didn't think I, I we don't have to lean on him too hard. But I think totally fine. Keeps him in the loop. Also gets him to know what's going out before it goes out. I mean, if I'm them, I'd like to I'd like to have a look before it goes. You know, so that was good. It was really good. I really like Rob. He's a really really good guy to deal with. He's on it all the time. Knows what's going on. I'm going to call, I'm going to put a call into Kirsten right now, Brian, so that I, I'm not going to wait for her any longer and I will get that other stuff organized. All right, John, just one, one last thing. I'm just calculating before I reply to Craig, mm -hmm. I did get it right. I do mean Craig, not Rob. So, um, his out of pocket for 25 people times 16, five, 25 people times 1,650 is 41,250. Is that accurate? Nice. Uh, let me just check. Sorry, I was writing. Yeah, 41,250. Yeah. So then he's also looking at five people at 2,500, which is 12.5 additional, mm -hmm. right? Yep. So his out of pocket right now is 53,750. And then he said in his email TNA plus TNA. So travel and like, I don't know what that was. You remember that? No, but I'll go back. But just just before we wrap up, and we can let Kelly go here. But just so roughly, he's at fifty three seven, fifty three thousand seven fifty for his actual what he's paying out. Am I accurate so far, John? That's right. Yeah. So 
for me to insist that he pay the 40 grand, he's not even worst case scenario. He's not giving us 40 grand as soon as possible that he's not, he wouldn't have paid anyway. Right. right. There's absolutely, had he really looked at this, he to Kelly's point about integrity, um, they would have paid us that 40 grand on June 15th, irrespective of anything else. Cause yeah, well, I'm, I'm causing the matter. What I did not do is I didn't manage prompting him before June 25th. I never got him an invoice. So uh, the clients pay on an invoice. I assumed he would pay it off of the letter of agreement. So that's, I'm fully irresponsible. Okay. All right. Well, let me just, so, but this is really, really good news. Kelly, this is good news. Yeah. Yeah. Good work, Brian. All right, John. And then John, separately, after you get complete with Robin about the breakdown with, with the schedule and Tony, yeah. separately, you'll have Rob, Tony manage you, me, and Kelly being scheduled. We won't take that through Kirsten because that'll be too complicated. Yeah. And now I'm available starting July 2. And you heard what he said about avoiding Mondays. Mondays. I wrote that down, yeah. Okay. Um, yeah, I'll let Tony work that out. I've also had a conversation with Tony and he's looking into Adele. Perfect. She, she does do some work with them. And so he's giving her the specifics of what I've asked her to do and when to be available. And he's going to get back to me to see if she can do it. Great, John. Thank you. Okay. And you'll send this recording off to Kelly as well. Yeah. And do you want to send me back the, um, slides that you just delivered, uh, because you made a couple changes while the three of us were on the phone? I will. And, and then I'll send those to, there's something else I want to do with them. I got a note someplace. <laughs> All right. Thanks. All right. John. Good luck. Tonight. Thank you. Bye.